There's no question, cruise lines are definitely facing some challenges right now, which means there are some great last minute deals to be had for you. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now you almost have to feel bad for the cruise lines. Everything is going up in price and yet cruises are still such a good value. And if anything, I would say that they're really even underpriced when you compare them to hotel and land vacations, especially right now. And in good part, this is just because of all of the different circumstances that have happened and the challenges that they continue to face. But there are some opportunities, some last minute deals that you can actually find and I will share them with you in this video. Now, when I say last minute cruises, I'm specifically talking about the cruises that are about a month from now, all the way till about four months from now. And in some cases, even a little bit further on, but definitely this goes against what the cruise lines did predict even a couple of months back. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, please do give the video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Alaska. Now, Alaska is really one of the absolute very best deals that you can find for cruising this summer and even into the early fall. And I do think this surprised cruise lines because a lot of people were booking Alaska. It was expected to be an amazing season. I think it still will be, but there are so many cruise ships that are going there. And really there are some reasons that people are still concerned about traveling. Part of that does include the travel requirements, including the travel requirements to get into Canada. And as well, there is the cost of airfare. That's one of the reasons that people are staying a little bit closer to home. So that being said, if you looked at Alaska a few months ago and you saw that the prices were very high, take a look again and see if there aren't some great last minute deals that you can find. Now I'm gonna share with you two tips. One of them is the best deals are going to be on those cruises typically that are going to be the northbound and the southbound itineraries. Now, something else to look for is cruise line air promotions. So basically to kind of offset the price of the air, a lot of cruise lines are offering a cruise line air promo. So basically the way that works is if you book your air with the cruise line, you're gonna get not only the competitive rate, cause usually the price is really quite good, but you'll also get a rebate on your air of 100, 200, or even $300 a person. It's definitely something to look for. Now, another tip is also to check cruise lines that you normally don't sail with. As an example, Cunard is sailing to Alaska this year. There are some phenomenal deals. If you've always wanted to try Cunard, this might be something to look at right now because you're going to be surprised at the amazing last minute deals that they have on their Alaska cruises. Number two, river cruises. Now, typically river cruises sell out so fast. Of course, there's not that much availability on river cruises. You can usually only have about 150 to 200 passengers per river cruise ship. So they really can't take that many people at a time. And typically those cruises sell out several months to even a year or more before the cruise. So usually you wouldn't have availability. However, there is availability for this summer and even like into the fall on river cruises. So you do want to take a look at that. If this is really something that you want to do, you'll find there are some amazing deals, some onboard credit offers, some flight offers as well. This is definitely something worth looking at. Number three, Bermuda. Now Bermuda is absolutely one of my favorite destinations. And while I wouldn't say that it is cheap for this year, it is actually cheaper than in 2023. So I would consider it to be like good last minute deals. And you can sail to Bermuda with Celebrity, um, with Norwegian Cruise Line, even with Carnival, with Royal Caribbean. So you have some different choices. Now, I think one of the impediments, one of the concerns maybe people have about cruising to Bermuda and I think this might be one of the reasons it's a little bit lower this year, at least right now. One of the reasons I think is that when you do go to Bermuda, you do have an extra travel requirement. So this is at least at the time that I'm filming this, this is that you have to get the Bermuda COVID travel certificate. I think that's what it is called. I will leave the information up on the screen so that you can take a look. But basically you do have to um, pay an additional $40 per person to have this. This is on the Bermuda government website. And there is a little bit of extra planning involved because you are gonna to have to upload your testing results before your cruise to that website. So I think that probably is keeping a few people perhaps away, but if you do love Bermuda, you're going to be testing anyway, 
for your cruise, this might be something to look at because I think there are some really good deals right now. Number four, short cruises. Now short cruises are a good deal whether they're last minute and I think even they've been a really good deal throughout this entire pandemic. And in particular, I would say short cruises from premium cruise lines have definitely been underpriced and I think even undervalued. So even if you're looking at booking something, you know, even into the fall, even into the winter, take a look at those maybe four and five night sailings by Princess, by Celebrity, by some of the premium cruise lines and you might really be surprised at the value that they have. They could be priced similarly to uh, contemporary or value brands like Carnival, like Royal Caribbean, like MSC. So price sort of in the same range, but you do tend to get a lot more included with those premium brands. And those are definitely some great deals, whether they're last minute and even if you're planning into later in 2022 and even 2023. Number five, Mediterranean cruises, Greek Isles cruises, European cruises. These are some phenomenal deals. And this is of course really sort of abnormal because typically these cruises would be really um, commanding a premium price. In particular, people that are like sailing from the US, even from Canada, really these are dream trips. And I think for elsewhere as well, but really for North Americans to be able to go over to Europe and do these cruises, these are bucket list cruises. But of course, a lot of North Americans are staying a little bit closer to home. And in particular, people that are living in the US, they say they do not necessarily wanna travel internationally because of some of the travel requirements. So for Americans that do travel to Europe, when they come back into the United States, they do actually have to test to return to the United States. Now, a lot of travel advisors, um, even the cruise line executives say, this is actually an impediment to booking because for a lot of people, they do worry about being stuck, not being able to return to fly home to the United States if they do test positive and they definitely are holding off on booking those cruises that are international cruises for that reason. Now there's no denying it, travel, cruising, it does come with some challenges these days, but with challenges does come some opportunities. But I am really curious, in terms of your own cruising, your own traveling, are you holding off any cruises until next year rather than this year because of those travel requirements, because of those protocols? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, even though I didn't mention them in this video, there are some really good deals to be had still on some Caribbean cruises as well. So if you do wanna stay closer to home, definitely take a look at that because especially when compared to the price of hotels, which honestly can run you just for like a halfway decent hotel is gonna run you now $250 at the minimum, even up to $300 and more if you go to like a beach vacation spot. So when you do compare the value of a cruise, the fact that you're getting your food included, your entertainment included, uh, great destinations to go, I think that you'll still find that the price of cruises for last minute deals that you can find this summer and into early fall, that they are phenomenal. Now, please let me know if you found any last minute cruise deals that you are going to be taking advantage of. And please let me know as well, if you are planning on cruising a little bit closer to home, if those travel requirements and different things, if they are making an impact on you. Now, if you are getting ready for a cruise, I am gonna leave a video right after this one all about the last minute things that you'll wanna do for a cruise in the last 30 days before your cruise. Now, I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.